What's going on, Jags fans? So, day two of the NFL draft is in the books, and, you know, it started off on a little bit of a sour note, uh, but when you look back on it, man, like, um, you know, obviously the Tyson Campbell pick is a little bit questionable, but, man, we got a couple of really good guys, man, with, with Walker Little as well, no, t or left tackle Walker Little as well as safety Andre Sisco. Um, so, Walker Little, I mean... He, I mean, he hasn't. The, the big flaw about him is that he only has played one game since 2019, opted out of 2020. But, I mean, when he was playing, he was really good. Like, he's a big, solid left tackle. He didn't give up. He hardly gave up really any sacks when he played. And um, when you look at kind of his tape, he's a very, very good player. And, you know, this kind of gives us a much more clear um, cut route of what we're going to do with left tackle. You know, now, now. Cam Robinson can play in 20, uh, 2021, and, you know, he can go in as a starter, and he's going to either play himself out of that position, or he's going to get injured, and we're going to have a solid backup, so, you know, Cam Robinson, it was definitely good to franchise tag him, just because we didn't have to really freak out about what to do with that spot, but now, you know, Cam Robinson, he's on a one-year deal, next year he'll be out of here, and then all of a sudden we have a good, solid, and cheap left tackle for um, the next several years to come, and, you know, we don't have to, because the thing was, man, if we weren't able to draft the left tackle, there's a very good chance we're going to have to overpay Cam Robinson for a, you know, a decent-sized contract, because, hey, if we don't overpay him, somebody else will, you know what I mean, that's how it works in the NFL, everybody a lot of teams really need left tackles, so uh, we'll see what Walker Little does. I mean, there were several tackles taken before him. There were several tackles taken after him. So we just got to hope that the Jaguars made the right decision when it comes to um, left tackle Walker Little out of Stanford. So another thing, um, I mean, our defensive backfield should be really good. I mean, Tyson Campbell, a cornerback to pick number 33, I would not have predicted it, but they were all very excited about it. I mean, he's a big long lengthy physical and also speedy cornerback um so i mean when you look at it man we're gonna have a cornerback uh tj henderson shaquille griffin um and now tyson campbell safeties we're gonna have uh trace rayshon jenkins as well as andre cisco i mean that should be a really solid that should be a really good defensive backfield i mean our defensive backfield last year um i think i think saying it was trash is kind of an understatement <laughs> Um, so that really should be a lot of fun to watch. The pick concerned me at first because I'm like, man, we're drafting a slot cornerback at number 33 overall. And that looks like what he's probably going to be doing, playing slot. And I was a little bit concerned about, you know, maybe CJ Henderson. A lot of people were kind of, because I was live streaming it, so I wasn't able to kind of get different intel. But, um, I don't know. I mean, they, but when Urban Meyer and Trent Balky spoke, they said nothing but great things about, uh, about CJ Henderson. So I don't know if there's really much to be concerned there. I just hope he comes out here next year and balls out. And then, you know, we got to have a pretty solid defensive backfield. And Andre Sisco, that's a really popular pick. I mean, he was one of the top-rated corners by many analysts and um, very rangy corner. He can really play that free safety spot. Good sideline to sideline guy. Can also get physical um, when it comes to actually run tackling. So, you know, we have a, we have a we now have a defensive backfield that's very physical. Um, it looks like we're going to be playing a lot of man as well, and he can play single high safety, um, kind of cover from sideline to sideline. So uh, the biggest concern now with the defense is just the defensive line. I mean, we haven't we haven't addressed it in the draft, and you know we're gonna have. I mean, we're, you're gonna have to get after the quarterback, man. So that's I think kind of one of the biggest weaknesses. Like I would I would have drafted Christian Barmore over Tyson Campbell, but I mean that's just me. I don't I don't know as much about these guys about the guys that grind for hours upon hours day after day when it comes to stuff so i'm gonna trust to bring trust with the jaguars but um you know day two obviously it started off a little rocky but man getting walker little and andre cisco i think that's i think that's super solid so we're on day three now final day two fourth round picks you know we have of course our fourth round pick we're top of the draft as well as the rams fourth round pick via the Jalen ramsey trade that'll be the last draft pick we have via that trade and we also have two fifth round picks, our fifth round pick, as well as the pick from Ronnie Harrison. Um, so I think we have one seventh round pick, one or two seventh round picks, I forget. But yeah, it's going to be a fun, fun day three. I'm not going to be live streaming, but I will be 
uh, I will be like, you know, doing my reactions for every pick that we have. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Hopefully we, hopefully we kill today. And then next up, the focus is on a uh, different mini cash and stuff. So very excited. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.